Oh, exclamation mark commands. Has them all bundled together. Will we get any info about Explore Revamp? Anyone know? That's a winter update for KMS. So there's probably not going to be... Um, that's not going to be the next KMST. Probably not the one after that, but probably... So, like, there's probably a KMST right now. So it's not going to be this one. Not going to be the next one. And maybe the one after that. So... It's going to be at least... At least, like, a month and a half, I think. Until we hear anything in KMS about it. Probably two months. Cone Chariot announced to last until December 29th, so Winter Patch probably won't be until 29th. Yeah. Wow, 29th. Yeah, that is pretty late. Which means Tespia at the earliest will see something on like December 15th, right? Wow, so that's three and a half months. I mean, N Nia, uh, well, live went pretty long too though, right, Kobe? I feel like usually the summer updates end like a week or two earlier. It's almost like they're extending the summer and winter periods or something. I don't know. I guess if people are cyclical and they come back for the events, if you just have bigger events that last longer, people will play longer, right? They're usually 10 weeks. And live was 12. Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought. It was like two weeks extra, yeah. Well, for KMST, it always opens up one week early, but sometimes two weeks early. So I'm going to say like December 15th or something, there might be a Tespia update. Something like that. But yeah, I think like three and a half months until we know anything concrete. They might tease something in like a video or something to get like the get the excitement going in like late November or early December. But I'm not expecting any details of anything. Like maybe a video, but I don't think um, any details until like mid-December, I think. But we'll, we'll wait and see. But on that note, um, the SSB gender locked item issue, remember the thing that we got, we were getting compensation for because they miss um, showed the numbers, the percentages of which items were going to be in the boxes because they were not accounting for gender locked items. It seems that we have an update. Uh, our turtle teams have once again reviewed the compensation plans that we shared in this, also in the previous video, that went live August 27th. We realized that we may not have taken into consideration the non-zero characters that were affected by the lack of clarity on how gender-locked items are obtained from the boxes. To provide compensation, we will encompass non-zero players affected by the issue. We are planning to adjust our compensation plan for zero and non-zero characters that receive gender-locked items from opening a purchase SSB items. Of course, zero is more affected because they could only receive male items, even if they were on their female character, which was really weird. Um, when we discussed the overall compensation once again, we came to the conclusion that the Royal Hair Face coupons may not be the proper compensation for the issue. And I heard this from a lot of people who actually spent money on the game as well when we talked about it. I saw it in the comments and I saw it in the stream as well. A lot of people were like, okay, it's good that they saw that it was fucked and it's good that they realized that it needs compensation. Um, but these style boxes, like... I don't know, like, nobody's really looking for that, nobody really needs that. Uh, the people who really wailed hard on these things can't use these coupons for anything, so it's kind of like, eh. Uh, replace the previous compensation with a newly updated plan. Please refer to the newly finalized compensation plan below. So here we go. All accounts with level 30 characters. So again, this, this one is for everyone. Um, if you have an account with a character level 30 and above, created prior to August 27th, we receive the following items as a token of our apology from the incorrect information. Uh, so you have to pick one of the sets, so that's the same as before. And then the Legendary Baby Box um, is the same, but they did clarify the Extreme Growth Potion. Because as well in the stream, as during my video, and in the YouTube comment section as well, there was some people... Um, I initially thought that it was the Level Up Potion up to 249. People in the chat said they probably mean the Bong Potions. I thought that probably makes more sense. People in YouTube comments were saying like, no, it's definitely the 249 Potion. I'm pretty sure that both of those potions were translated to actually have the same name and therefore all of the confusion that anyone has or anyone who thinks the other people were wrong and they were right, everyone was right and everyone was wrong um, because Nexon was wrong in that sense. They were unclear and they gave the two items the same name. So they're going to be renaming the 200 to 249 potion and what we will be getting is three extreme growth potions which gives you up to level 10 max between 149 and 199. And these are still the potions that you cannot use at level 200 or above. Remember, there is a KMS change coming where you can use these at level 200 and above for like very reduced efficiency. Um, but that update is still not uh, 
given for, to us. So again, for people like me who have all the characters over 200, this is just completely useless. You can throw it away. But for most people, you'll have a few characters that can use these, and that will give you some juice to get that Mercedes or that Phantom or that Evan. You know those those high level favorites or that mechanic. You know, get those towards level 200 without having to sit through all the levels. Uh, and then the five flames. So the rest is the is the same. Although I think were the trade boost potions extra. I don't remember exactly. No game changers here though. And then accounts that purchase SSB items. So this is where the big changes come in. Uh, for accounts that receive general elect items from uh, opening a purchase SSB item between April twenty second, twenty fifteen, and August twenty seventh, twenty twenty one. So this is over six years, uh, six and a half years. This is going to be a lot for if you're whaling hard. This is going to be a lot. Uh, you have two selection options. Uh -huh. We have maintained the related logs from April 22 onwards and would like to compensate all players for, uh, for whom we have records. The number of times you can use the selection feature is limited to the amount of gender locked items you've received from opening uh, a purchase SSB item during the period mentioned above. So for every single item, you will have to select which one of the two you want to get. Gender locked item received through auction house purchases or one to one player trades will not be eligible for the compensation. Of course, because then you know 100% what you're getting. The number of times available will be deducted each time you make a selection. Although, yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as they're looking at who received the item, right? Because this was the main problem with the flames as well. Um, with the compensation and stuff. Because sometimes people were getting compensated who didn't do the flaming themselves. Like, they purchased the item with the flame that they wanted and then also got the compensation. And the other person who made all of the investment to um, to make the item in the first place, they didn't get any compensation. Why is this selected? That is so weird. Okay, I just threw me off. Um, Yes. Um, okay. The number of times available will be deducted each time you make a selection and receive the compensation. The gender locked items do not have to be in the character's possession for you to receive the compensation. And if you receive 10 male specific items for opening SB items between April 22nd, 2015, you can make the selection between the two selection options a total of 10 times. Once you've made the selection three times, we'll have seven remaining. Okay. Basic arithmetic. I think so far we are up to speed with all of it. Hey, <laughs> what up, Zane? First time message for, from a new viewer. I see, I see. I'm doing YouTube work and it's so nice to be able to catch a live of yours. Hey, the time zones are a real thing. What up, Zane? How you doing? What is SSB items? I just joined the stream. Uh, surprise style boxes. Those purple boxes you buy in the cash shop that give you a random NX outfit for your character. Uh, Elja players will receive the following two selection options. Receive the corresponding untradeable item for the opposite gender item if you've already... If you've obtained from obtaining a purchase SB item, there's not an exchange and you will not lose the existing item if you have it in possession, or receive a Maple Point exchange coupon for the item. So if you so if you hold down S, if you hold down your NPC chat, they're just gonna give you a bunch of NX, right? They know that most people will want to get maple points for it. So they put maple points as the second option. Because if you have to click this like 300 times, you have to go down down arrow NPC chat, down arrow NPC chat, down arrow NPC chat every single time, right? If they make this the top option, people can just hold down NPC chat and just rob them blind. So this way, they make sure that there is more uh, <laughs> more energy that has to be has to be put in. Each maple point exchange coupon will provide 3,400 maple points, the price of one box. Um, that is reasonable. But man, people who've been doing SSB for a while, this is over six years that the compensation is going. This is going to be a lot of maple points. Carlo, thank you for gifting this up to Paroxo. Appreciate it. Get an NPC chat spam. Nope. I'm taking the maple points. Mezzo market, going to tank, sell mezzos. The, 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 the value is already horrible. Oh, I mean, I mean, the, the value of mezzo is probably going to go up, right? Because a lot of people have a lot of maple points. And so the value of Mesos is probably going to go up toward uh, compared to Maple Points, right? Because the, the demand is going to go up, but the supply is going to stay the same. Maybe finally time to save my Mesos. First time I stream as well, 2am right now. Your YouTube videos have helped me a lot. I'm Grad 6 next. You're very welcome, my dude. Reels are going to have to menu so much. Yeah, six years of this. So, I mean, some people unironically drop, like drop a few hundred bucks every single time this comes out. And... SSBs come out, what, every two months? 
So like six times a year, like 2K a year, six years, 12K worth. <laughs> it's gotta be some clicking. And 12K is not like this times three. 12K is this, it, this is 3.4. So 3.4 into 12K. <laughs> Whenever this happened in KMS. No, I didn't see any message in KMS whatsoever. So this is purely like a, um, a mistake of mentioning. Um, oh, you don't even have SSBs. You have, you have piecing? Only an X of your gender or unisex. Yeah, I mean, the same thing happened in GMS, but they just didn't show properly how it works, right? Oh, the sewing machines. Right, right, right. So you say sewing machines. It's really weird you say sewing, but it's an... It's an E, so it's a sewing machines, right? But then it sounds like sewer, which isn't really appetite. Does give you that appetite. Uh, the eligible players can utilize the system to either obtain maple points or the counterpart item for the gender locked SSB items that were received. Um, okay. Okay, well, I'm, I'm finished reading first. Since this will be a new system, our episode team is working to develop this feature to provide compensation for the affected players. We'll update with more details, such as the date in the future post. Again, we express our sincere apologies for the SSB gender log item issue, and thank you for all your patience. One thing that's missing here. Who can tell me what is the one thing that's missing here? It's the same thing that KMS did for the first time during the live event, and that we have to wait another six months to be able to do. The KMS live... Shop had it for the first time in ever. And it's necessary here because it's six years of compensation, six and a half years. It is the option to redeem multiples at the same time. Yes, Applic. Um, let me just pick 60 of one and 100 of the other one. Some people are unironically going to have to pick up a thousand of these. Well, maybe not that much because it's only the gender lock thing. But still, it could be like two, three hundred of them. Let them let people do bulk pickup, not one at a time. When you give people compensation, don't make people work extra to receive their compensation. That's really just rude. <laughs> just super rude. You know, like if someone gets your product and it's shit and they, you know, and it's like, oh, this product is shit. Like, give them some way to send it back to you and give them the money back. Don't be like, okay, here's the address. Figure out how to get it to us. Also, we'll send you an in-store coupon that you have to go pick up in this location. And then you can only spend the money in this place. Like, that's a shitty way of giving a compensation. Because that's, like that's like a fuck you on the way out. Don't do that. All right? If you're going to compensate people, make it easy for people to receive that compensation. Don't give them homework and give them, like instructions on how to get the things that you say that they're entitled to if you believe that we're entitled to it then give us access to it give us good access you need to know what you're getting for every item that's true right but there will be bulk right some people will have received the same item like 15 times yeah the problem is probably the uniqueness i wonder if they can do it yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, I wonder to which extent they can do it. But at least give the option, right? Give the option, like, I don't give a fuck. Or, like, let me look at the selection of items. What can I pick? And then you select which ones you want, and then you do, like, maple points for everything else. Bam. You know? Do we get compensated in-game? Yeah. So everyone gets compensation for this. Everyone gets the... To pick the Moonlight set, or male or female, and gets the legendary Bebe box with these contents. Uh, we don't know exactly yet when it's going to be implemented because they haven't really said when because they're still working on um, how this system is going to work and implementing this system. So they're still making that. Uh, or they say they are. I don't know if that means Korea is or whatever. Uh, so there will be another announcement on when that's actually happening. Probably after like an upcoming patch, I'm assuming. Maybe when the current event ends and the next one starts, maybe. Where's the bug compensation? No word on the bug compensation yet. So this is purely just for the the mis, um, misnumbering and the miscommunication regarding the uh, suppressed out box gender locked items. It's purely that. More Bebe boxes? Obviously, I wouldn't be surprised if like the compensation for the other one is also some kind of Bebe box. Probably not a legendary one though. Legendary is kind of uh, kind of a massive deal. But like, I don't know, like the yellow... Wait, the, all, all the other baby boxes were made the same, right? Like the yellow, the blue, the red. Like they were all made the same, I think.
But yeah. We do reboot changes in test No, we don't have a translated version of that yet. We have a um, an update to this, but not for uh, test PR. Give a mythic bebe box. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the update for now. So I guess we'll have to wait and see on when it's going to be implemented, when the feature is ready. And of course, like a, like we just mentioned, also still waiting on that composition for the game being broken and everyone crashing for a whole day. Um, all in all, it's quote unquote just one day. We've had other sh issues that have um, perpetuated over a longer period of time <laughs> that probably require more of a fix and more of a attention and maybe more of compensation than this. But um, yeah, we'll still just wait and see how they're gonna treat that day of downtime and how we're gonna get any compensation for that. But yeah, that's been my short update for the gender lock boxes. So hopefully this is more to everyone's liking on uh, the people who are going to be picking up the compensation. And uh, well, congrats on the big legendary box for everyone. So cl clarification that the extreme growth potion is indeed the bonking potion, the, the 1 to 10 level potion up to 199 and not the 200 to 249 potion that it was erroneously um, named the same way with. So yeah.